What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great Monday. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on. We're a little over 24. Actually, it's uh, we'll say 27 hours from now. The trade deadline ends. So far, we haven't heard about any major trades that are out there. We know that Kirk Cousins' season and his time in Minnesota may be done with the torn um uh, Achilles tendon and we've got a lot of quarterbacks out there with a lot of interceptions not named Dak Prescott um, but nobody's talking about that but um, last week I had a lot of people that kept uh, sending me messages text messages Facebook messages hell I think I saw some smoke signals because they were talking about the Eagles and how they benefited last week in their victory where they didn't have a, a, a penalty against them not a single one. And there were questionable ones where you saw it should have been pass interference, could have been a face mask, hands to the face, all in one play. That was a game determining play that wasn't called. And then we find out that there was an official who has a questionable background, was let go by the NCAA as a referee for an ethical um Refereeing. Now, I don't know exactly what that means, but when you say unethical, that means some shit wasn't right. And we find out that this guy grew up about 65 miles away from Philadelphia. Now, that doesn't by any stretch of the imagination means that he is an Eagle fan. I grew up uh, 20 miles outside of D.C., but I've always been a Cowboy fan. So it's possible that he's actually, you know, a fan of another team. However... We're just putting it out there. Now, when we were watching the game, now I was watching the Cowboys destroy the Rams, which was great to see. Made me feel good about my team as we get closer to the trade deadline. And we also had the Eagles-Washington game. Now, let me take you back because this is kind of cray-cray. It's the third quarter. The commanders are up 17-10. to 10. Okay, 17 to 10 with 10 minutes and 39 seconds left. Their defense has got them down to a fourth and two, fourth and two from their own 32. The Eagles decide to go for it. They look at this and say it's too far for a tush push. And excuse me. And so they're going to do a pass play. Now, I want to show you this because I, I got questions. I got questions. All right. Let, let's take a look at this. Okay. So we see up here on the screen, all right, let, let's start playing this, okay, fourth down and two, balls at the 32-yard line, okay? Now, what's going to happen is they're going to go with a deep pass to A.J. Brown. A.J. Brown is at the uh, bottom right corner, bottom half of the corner. Now, what I want you to do is watch him when this play starts. Now, this isn't a great shot of the whole field, but watch. Now, the cornerback's right there. Now, you have the five-yard chuck rule, right? Five-yard chuck rule, okay? So, the cornerback is touched him to me from when i look at this now it looks like aj brown has gotten a release right jalen hurts is you know planting and throws the football okay throws the football and then you see down the field boom now he does kind of touch him kind of touch him Okay, let's look at it again in full speed. Okay, I want you to see this again. And you'll see a flag that's called. Okay. Now watch this. Boom. So they're going downfield, right? Now, you see where the ball is right now. You see where the cornerback is, okay? Now... He does get there just a fraction ahead, but I don't know. That to me is incidental contact, okay? But they call pass interference, right? But here's the thing I want you to, to pay attention to. I'm going to slow this down, all right? I'm slowing this down and explain this one to me, okay? If right now he's touching him, 
it's illegal contact, right? But when you see him come back out of this pass, watch. Look at this. There is the flag right there above the 10. The flag for pass interference, the flag for pass interference is already out. Okay? Let's back it up. As soon as we see, look, the ball. Look at the receiver. Look at the cornerback. A.J. Brown got separation. He's not being grabbed. He's not being touched. Now, I, I will say that maybe in the end here, he, it, 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 right there, A.J. Brown stops. You see the cornerback. Looks like he's pulling up. He doesn't really impede the receiver. A.J. Brown just dropped it. Watch the whole thing again one more time. Watch it again. Look at it. Now, I, I'm going to say that I've seen a lot more egregious contact. But my only problem is, is this. My only problem is this. How are you? Okay, because because here's the thing. Here, in my mind, here's in my mind. If the cornerback was holding AJ Brown and had contact, then that should have been illegal contact. Five yards, first down on the twenty-eight, right? Because when I see the ball up in the air, there's separation between the two. Maybe you know when AJ Brown stops, he runs into him. To me, that's inconsidential inc inc contact. That, that I could say, you could look at that and say, well, maybe there was. But did he go ahead in time to throw the flag before the ball even got there for pass interference? Seriously. How do you call pass interference, give him a first down on the one yard line there, before the ball even got there. I want to know that one. I would love for the NFL to explain that one to me because I just don't get it. I don't get it. I don't understand how you get that call because now it's a tied score 17-17. If that call isn't made, now it's the commander's ball on the 32-yard line up 17-10. Hmm. You tell me. You tell me. Because I don't understand. Fuck them birds. Fly, eagles, fly. Now nah, we shoot those birds out of the sky. Stupid dumbasses managed to give up a third and 30 to my sexy arm. Pathetic defense and team. No wonder I own those piece of shit frauds every damn year. Don't get me started on the fans. You boo me while I earned a respected award. Losing the Super Bowl was just karma for you fuckheads. I can't wait to drop 100 on your heads next season while being the daddy of the NFC East again. 